In this video, I will be showing you how to integrate e to the minus x squared from negative infinity to infinity. Now, let me start off by uh, letting this be equal to i. So i is equal to negative uh, x squared. Now, I'm going to rewrite this in a slightly different notation, I should say. So from infinity to negative infinity of e to the minus y squared dy. So yes, they're exactly the same integral, but let me just, um, just bear with me for now. So what I'm going to really say is that i squared is equal to the integral of, so I'm going to rewrite this again, e to the minus y squared dy times from infinity to negative infinity of e to the minus x squared dx. Okay, so the reason that I'm going to write this is because I can take this minus uh, e to the minus y squared inside this integral. Now, if you're not too uh, comfortable with this notation, just think of this thing. Like, if I write it as a double summation, uh, this this will be e to the minus y i squared delta y. Okay, so i equals one two n. And remember, th this is this is uh, a delta y is a constant, and I have a second summation that goes uh, j equals one two n e to the minus xj squared delta x. So because because the um, this summation does not depend on anything of this yi squared, I can't take it inside. Okay, so because of that, i squared will in, now end up becoming equal to the double integral of negative infinity to infinity, again negative infinity to infinity, of e to the minus x squared, and I'll write this inside brackets, plus y squared dx dy. Okay, so now we've done most of the work. Now all we have to do is convert it into polar coordinates. Right? So I'm going to let x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sine theta. Okay, so if I, if I draw a little grid, so that's my x and y. Integrating from negative infinity to, to infinity for both of these guys means that I'm integrating over everything, right? Or in other words, if I'm integrating over everything, if I take um, circles as my base basic unit rather than uh, rather than going across like little squares, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to integrate uh, circles that are getting bigger and bigger, right? So basically it's going to keep going out, right? Um, instead of taking covering the entire space with these small boxes, okay? So, what effectively ends up happening is that when I have at some radius r, and I draw a little pizza slice, this thing over here you should you should know from uh, normal um, circular geometry that that's equal to r theta. Okay, so that's that's r theta, if that angle over there is theta. And this little bit, if I call that, say, uh, dr, so the change in r, this thickness, this area over here, is approximately equal to r theta. Now, actually, I'm going to change this to d theta because I want to change a small angle, r d theta, dr. Okay, it turns out that if I was to draw a little box like that, this area is approximately the same. So basically what I'm saying is r dr d theta is approximately the same as dx dy. Okay, All right. and this is really what we need for our integral. So x squared plus y squared, thanks to polar coordinates, is just going to become r squared. And the limits, so theta is going to go from 0 to 2 pi because it's going one full circle. right? It's going from here to here, so it's one full circle. And r is going to go from 0, so the radius is going to be 0, to infinity. Okay, so now I will change my i squared to be equal to, uh, so let's leave the angle one outside, and the radius is 0 to infinity, so it's e to the minus r squared times r dr d theta. Okay, so there are no theta terms inside here. 
Okay, so there are no theta times, so I can take the d theta outside again. So it'll end up becoming equal to, so this thing will just be theta between zero and two pi. I have to multiply that by, when I integrate this guy, so if, if, you're, if you're a bit iffy on your integration, let I'm just gonna say let u equals r squared, you'll find out that when you integrate this, this will be equal to negative a half e to the negative r squared from infinity to zero. Okay, so if you wanna check my work, just differentiate this and you'll find out that's equal to e to the minus r squared r. Okay, so this, this guy over here is just going to be 2 pi. And this guy over here, so when you sub in infinity, it's going to be 0. And when you sub in 0, it will be equal to a half, so times a half. Okay, so i squared is equal to pi. And so the last step will end up being i is equal to root pi. And there you have it. Okay, so the integral of e to the minus x squared is simply equal to root pi. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. But I hope that I hope that was pretty straightforward. And thanks for watching.